<laughs> now, can you step up there for a minute for me? <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? That's. Jesus, man, you should have come in earlier. Hey, everybody! So, it's been a hot minute since I played some Minecraft, so... Why don't I return the Big Building series after the overwhelming support on the Metopia video? I'm gonna be trying to recreate fully in Minecraft a game from my childhood, which you've probably heard of from my five-year special, Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. Ah, oh, yes, the memories with this one. I always thought this game was pretty good when I was younger. Actually, I thought it was amazing. And I'm doing a playthrough right now with one of my, my younger brothers on an emulator. So, I think this was the perfect match to build. So, there will be a download link in the description, and let me show you how much I have done. First of all, I built the hub. To build the hub, I used birch wood, because birch is my favorite, and it's also the brightest. So after that, when I finished building the walls, instead of making the ceiling just more or birch and then putting loads of lights, I made it stained glass, the same colour as Mario and Luigi, and made it halved so that anything below would represent that colour. It's a pretty smart design choice, isn't it? Now, for the level select, I made it so that the, the levels that are not complete just yet would have a little sign saying work in progress there, and the ones that were available would have a little time hole there. But how did I make the time holes? For the time hole system, I've made it so that it's a hole underground which has a minecart section. The one to the first level isn't that much because it's pretty close to the hub, but others, when I get to them, will be pretty long. It has a dropper which a, with a button that dispenses a total of nine minecarts, which you can then put at the end of a little station that I haven't built yet for when you want to go back and return it, just in case. And when and you're entering or exiting, there will be a little stream of water that you have to go up or down. But don't worry, I'll make sure that all of them aren't too high or too tall for you to take any fall, falling damage, or uh, I mean drowning damage. And I, I think I'm probably going to have quite a lot of time holes dug into the ground, so much that if you are around the area uh, digging around, chances are you'd encounter a time hole. So, yeah. That's how I did the time holes. But what about the first area? So what my basic idea is for the levels is to try and get it close to the original game, but change a couple things to make it work for Minecraft. Here's what I've done for the first stage. I haven't used grass because that's a little too dark, so I just use wool. And whenever I have to use solid things, I don't use them that often. I usually just go for wool. And I've made it so that it's slightly higher up, so that it has a view instead of just like, oh wait, we're near the ground. So, it's kind of like, hey, it's like a platforming level, but in Minecraft. And I try and make everything possible, if you get what I'm saying. For one final note, there are little beds at the hub, and little beds at every time hole. These small little beds are used for, like, spawn areas and they are different for or every single area. And you may notice that half of them are red, half of them are green. This follows the Mario and Luigi aspects quite snugly. Oh yeah, I'm stuttering, sorry. <laughs> and there are some little signs saying some little notes to people that haven't watched these videos yet. But just to all of them, this is going to be one long series and it's gonna take a long time to complete. <clears throat> so overall, this map is far from finished, and it's going to have a lot more content in it. But this start is just a little taster for all right, and to see if I should continue this series if it gets major traction like my previous Minecraft video. <sighs> Anyways, ignoring that, I just want to ask you, what sort of things do you think I could improve for this level, and what changes do you think should be made before I extend it more? I'll, I'll be waiting for your feedback. So thanks for watching, and as always, goodbye!